Welcome to the Ultimate Music Theory Basic Rudiments Lesson 11. In Lesson 10, you learned the tips for transposing up or down one octave. Plus, you learned how to use the UMT chart in preparing for the review test. In Lesson 11, you'll learn why we need to study theory and how it can help us become better musicians. You'll meet our student, Gabrielle, who will show you how to analyze a piece of music before beginning to play it. You'll also learn how to use the Ultimate Music Theory Basic Rudiment Workbooks to develop strong sight reading and ear training skills. Now I'm sure many of you have had students that ask you, why do we need to learn theory? <laughs> why do we need to learn any language? So that we can communicate and share our ideas. By expanding our knowledge in theory, we're able to analyze a piece of music and understand how to interpret the written language of music. We need to understand the key, time signature, tempo, articulation, the mood, style, expression, and so on to truly perform the piece as the composer has intended. And this is really why we study theory. Using the Basic Rudiments Workbook, go back through each review test and have your students analyze each piece and then sight read the piece so that they can hear what they see. Now here's a little piece called Sneaky from the review test in Lesson 2 on page 29. In addition to answering the analysis questions of the 8VA at the letter A, tied note at the letter B, naming the chromatic semitone notes at the letters C and D, and identifying the pedal sign at the letter E, let's listen to our student Gabriel as he quickly analyzes Sneaky before he begins to sight read it. Hi, today before I analyze this piece I'm going to play it and so I get a good idea of what it sounds like and I know how to do it. So before I play it though I just want to know what's inside of it. So here is pianissimo which means I have to play very soft. Here is a means where I have to play a, an octave lower. Two sharps which means two semitones. So this is going to be a little tricky to do. And uh, this means I have to put the damper pedal down, which means I have to press the right pedal. So, here we go. As you noticed, Gabriel looked at the piece, pointing out various things that he had to watch out for before sight reading the piece. And when you're teaching the analysis question from each of the review tests in the Basic Rudiments Workbook, use these as sight reading exercises after your students have completed writing all the answers in the analysis question. You can also teach ear training by using the same analysis questions. For example, using the crazy caterpillar from lesson 11, play the triads in the piece and have your students identify them as major or minor, as well as solid or broken. Play the piece and have students identify the dynamics and the tempo, and then play the piece again. This time, have them clap back the rhythm and identify the time signature. Now this develops good listening skills. In our 11th Ultimate Music Theory Basic Rudiments lesson, you learned why we need to study theory and how to analyze a piece of music. You also learned how to use the Basic Rudiments workbooks for sight reading and ear training exercises. In our next video, Ultimate Music Theory Basic Rudiments lesson 12, you're going to put the guide and chart together to create the UMT map. And I'll show you how this map will help your students score over 90% on their final examination. Till next time, teach with passion.